Uh, this is an interview with Professor Ashen Bleachen from the movie Clothespin Man Balls of Steel, which is coming out this December 2009. Uh, my first question for you, Professor, uh, is that your real name? Um, well, I, I think I should clear things up here. My name is Ronald McJenkins. I'm a farmer slash actor. I do the both professions. Oh, um, interesting look, combination. It is an interesting combination. I find they work well together. Like when you're herding chickens, it's like when you're rehearsing lines for a film. Or when you're, you know, milking the cow, it's like you're milking the profits off your film. So I find the raw emotion is required for both of them. Could and you I actually think could you go back to the, the thing about the chickens? Um, the Could chickens. You explain that. Um, well, okay, let, let's... Rehearsing your lines is like... Well, the, the chickens... They're quite the chickens? voluptuous creatures. I think you understand when I say that they're voluptuous. I suppose if you feed them well. Yes, and they're quite voluptuous, baby. Um, so those chickens, right? Um, <clears throat> these chickens are voluptuous, and my lines—they're filled with raw um, emotion. They're filled with my soul. My soul is poured into those chickens, quite literally, and I pour my soul into my lines. And okay, fair enough. Okay. Okay. And so. I feel that my, my duty to both the, the audience and to my chickens is equal. And we, I, I wouldn't compromise either one. Best of why, both worlds. Which is why I, I say yeah. that if, if I ever thought for one second that me and what my chickens and I have going on would, would interfere with my audience, I would have to rethink things. I'm sorry, I, you know, going on? You have something going I'm, on I'm with your chickens? Them. They're, they're laying eggs for me. I don't know what you're seeing in this. Okay, sorry, I just... Um, mm, I'm, mm. I'm trying to say something here, which is that... <sighs> Moving on. Audience, number one. You How about... Number one. Uh, yep. How about we talk about your role in the movie? How oh. about we? I uh, ask you a question which I have had on my mind lately. Well, thank you. Uh... Why do you have such a strange accent? Why the triangle around the head? Well, I'd like to say something. First of all, was this I the director or this you? Is the accent of my ancestors. My ancestors okay. were patriots to the um, well, to the Southern patriots. We were not patriots to the Union, but to the Confederacy. But um, that's not my point. My point is, I do not have a triangle for a head, and I don't know what you're trying to get at here by calling me a weird. Accent and a triangle for a head. Why'd you so, speak in such a high voice? I, this is not a very high voice. No, I why did why you, you in the movie? Personally. I'm attacking you because I didn't think you acted that well. I don't know why they hired you, boy. You don't know how to appreciate it. I'm, I'm also attacking you because I hate that you are a stupid hick and that you got the part and I didn't. Now listen here. In the boy. movie because you know listen I tried here, out boy. for that part. And I gave it all my, I gave, I gave it my, both my balls and more, you know? And what did, what did you give? What did you, you know give what? it? You know what? Nothing. You gave it I your mean. stupid hick my values. My family has been in this business what, for what years. The, what are you talking about, sometimes, your stupid chickens? Sometimes, sometimes it matters who you know and not what you know. And I think that's a good note to end this interview on.